Hi everyone! Look what I have! <laughs> my cookbook has arrived! This is the only copy I have right now, but my publisher is going to be sending me a big box of books, so make sure you subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be doing some giveaways in the coming weeks and you have to be a subscriber to be able to participate. So I'm not just going to be giving away my book, I might give away some of my favorite cooking products as well, so we'll see what's coming up, so subscribe right now! What I want to show you today is, you can see I have a few pages marked off here, is we're going to build a charcuterie plate, which is basically a cheese plate with some meats and some olives and some just fancy things that if you want to put out a nice spread. There's a chapter in the front of the book called Metze and Small Plates, and that's where you'll find my charcuterie board recipe. I'll show it to you in a second. In the back of the book, there's a chapter called Snacks and Sips. So if you want to do something really simple but also fun, there's a cheese plate with some fruit in there. So I'm going to show you both of those recipes, and I'm also going to show you I made a sweet, hot cherry pepper relish that I'm going to serve with all of this, and that is also in the book. So come along and let me show you what we're going to do. So here we have the charcuterie board with red onion jam. I'm not going to make the red onion jam today, we're going to use the sweet hot cherry pepper relish instead. But this is what the inside of the book looks like, isn't it exciting? <laughs> now if we go further back in the book, here's the cheese plate with fruit and crackers. It's a little simpler recipe, but it's still very fun. And here is the recipe for the sweet hot cherry pepper relish. This is the number one most popular recipe on MostlyMediterranean.com. Consistently, every day, people search for this like crazy. <laughs> so let me show you what we're building today. I snipped some herbs from the garden, which I like to scatter around the dishes on the plate because they just look pretty. So I have some basil here, I have some rosemary, and I have only one lavender flower left. <laughs> but I like to use it to add color to the plates. So of course people can eat the basil if they want, but it's really just for decoration right now. I also have a selection of cheeses. Cheeses are best if they're served at room temperature, but this brie in particular I'm just going to put in the oven for a tiny bit just to start to let it melt because it's much easier to serve that way and it's really good when it's warmed up with some crackers. Got some fancy crackers here to put around the brie. Here's my little helper for today. Thank you, Scarlett. Scarlett. Show me those green eyes. There we go, pretty girl. So much for joining me today and taking a little mini tour of my book with me. Now don't forget to subscribe because I'm going to be doing some giveaways of the book for subscribers only. I hope you enjoyed today's charcuterie plate and try it for yourself. Please share this video with your friends and don't forget to check out my book. I'll put a link in the description below where you can find out more information. I'll see you soon. Bye!